What's up guys, Cut Protagonist here and today we will be doing a deck profile on the Magic World Plague deck from the Climax Booster Driven to Disorder. So this is the brand new Magic World Archetype that we have gotten in a long while, the previous one being Shadow Shades. So the winning image of this deck is pretty simple, first off you must have the item spell, the book and you basically accumulate resources under the book and you finish off with World Pandemic which will cause your opponent's flag to go face down and all of their cards on the field become unusable and get sent to the drop zone. So basically this is a win condition deck for Magic World. I personally really like this deck because it's a size 3 based deck which plays around with spell and combos. So this deck actually takes a lot of skill to play because um, the choices you make will really affect your plays in the long run. So this deck is used by Grimoire in the anime. They did not explain much on how this deck works in the anime so I'm here to show you how this deck actually works. It actually took me a while to learn this deck and I really love this deck right now so... Uh, let's get started. Alright, the body we have here is Ashen Death, uh, Yesenius. Uh, most of these monsters are named based on um, diseases such as uh, Ebola here. Alright, so most of the monsters I play is of course a size trees. So the body we have here is Yesenius. Core cost put up to 2 plague from a drop zone into this card soul. So it could be monsters or spells. But I highly recommend you guys to put spells inside this guy because here's the second ability is you may cast plague spells in this card soul by paying the core cost. It is a it is really good because any plague, you can fetch any plague spells in your drop zone, even the finisher spell, and put in so, then you can cast them immediately. So one of the tactics is, once you uh, fulfill the condition of having 8 cards in the soul, I usually call Isenius my buddy, and put up, um, and put the drop zone, put this which is in the drop zone into the soul, and cast it immediately, after using its overkill skill, so it's just really good. So it, Isenius is just a really versatile card which allows you to toolbox a drop zone for spell cards, and use them from the soul. And he has double attack to boot and a soul guard. And you always put him in the center because he will protect your life points. And of course be a great tank because he has the 5k defense and soul guard. So yeah. Uh, Magic World flag. Um, it's been a while since Magic World has seen much play. And I'm really happy and excited. And also they'll be getting more support for the next few set because of the chaos support. So yeah, I'm looking forward to them as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started deck profile. So for the monster, we play 4 copies of Isenius, my buddy monster. Right, so what Isenius does is... Call cost two cards into the drop from the drop zone into the soul. So most of the time you wanna always set up the drop zone in order to, to benefit from his soul guard. And of course his amazing ability to cast any pick spell in his soul by paying his cast cost. Uh, do note that any um, any spells that's cast from his soul must be sent to the drop zone, so you can't really just cast uh, pandemic without sending. You will still lose a soul if you cast it. But nonetheless, it's a really very powerful card because you can basically abuse spells over and over as long as call him. So he's the main um, boss monster of the deck, which allows you to overturn to gain 6 gauge. Also a fantastic card because um, the pandemic spell requires you to pay 6 gauge, which is perfect. So most of the time is when you have your when you have a book set up already and you're ready to end game, you just call him, put this in the soul, and just use it immediately. And you overturn and use it. So yeah. So for copies is your finisher, and he also helps you farm a lot of stuff because of the, a lot of spells gives you a lot of pluses. So yeah, definitely is a must play in this deck. Uh, two copies of backup size trees, which is Ebola. Um, cast cost, you may put put the top card of that into his card so and pay two gauge. When this when you cast a spell, choose a card with defense on your opponent's field, and for this turn, it gets minus three k defense. Then the chosen card, if the chosen card has zero defense, destroy it. Um, this card is also a very good card because uh, we do play the the set spell, which allows you to reduce your opponent's defense and attack whenever it casts a spell. So if you pair him up on the field during your opponent's turn, he attacks you. You cast stuff like uh, maybe uh, the hot zone, which further reduces all cards on the field, their attacks and defense. You can easily do a bot wipe on your monsters because you basically make their attack and defense really, really low. So yeah, um, one thing cool about this deck is it, it really it is a really defensive deck with a lot of amazing spells. So not only that, at the beginning of your turn, put up to one plague spell from your drop zone into a card, soul card on your field. So it also accelerates your win condition, which is your book. So yeah, um, uh, usually I will prefer him to use him early game because he he has he is really really tanky with the AK defense, and he has double attack and soul guard. So really good. Yeah, he really puts your spell to work because you will get additional um, control with his ability. All right, next up we play size zeros, four copies of. Uh, the Death Plague Caster. So he is a really, really powerful card because he gives you a plus one whenever it enters the field. Venomous Barrel. When this card enters the field, you can look at the top three cards of the deck. 
put up to one plick spell or item from among them into your hand and put the rest of them into the drop zone. So it's really good because he not only gives you a free spell, he also gives you a chance to set up the drop zone which is very important um, for the butter monster. And of course your, your book, because your book actually places spells from the drop zone into the soul. So yeah, if you have no drop zone, your deck actually can't function really well. And yeah, it's only once per turn effect, so it's good. And of course, it's a size zero, so it's like your body monsters to poke. The next size zero we play is four copies of Death Plate Caster, Re Rebullius. Can't spell the name, the names are ridiculous. Uh, Eruptive Fever, when this card enters the field, pull up to one click spell from your drop zone into a card. So uh, most of the time, people play this wrong because you don't always put cards into this soul. For example, you don't always put cards like this straight in the soul. The, the way you play is you, you do a combo. Which is which actually accelerates the charging faster. So let's say you have uh, Misenis on the field. I call him. I usually will go for uh, incubation period, put into Isenius soul, then use in, um, incubation period and charge soul charge two into the soul instead. Uh, this is a faster way of getting the what. So you basically Isenius is really good because uh, it converts stuff that goes into soul into a free hand size, so you can actually cast that immediately. So really good. So that's one combo that if you wanna, if you guys wanna play Plague, uh, do not you got you guys gotta think out of the box if you're playing Plague actually. All right, so four copies. Uh, that's are pretty much the monsters in the deck. Let's go into the spells, which is the key main mechanic of the deck. Uh, first off, is three copies of World Pandemic. World Pandemic is the win condition of the deck. You may only cast a card if an item on your field has eight or more Plague spells in the soul. Cast cost pay six gauge. Flip your opponent's flag face down, and if the flag is face down, cards return on the flag cannot be used, and all cards on the field is sent to the drop zone. So yeah, uh, basically it's a win condition because your opponent can no longer attack you or do anything and just get tortured to you by death. It's actually quite a cruel deck, and I really like it. All right, so get it so and you win game. So how you get them? You play cards like um, Great Spell Incubation Period. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of one of the one of the viral games that you play online where you spread diseases. Yeah, I guess that's where they got their inspiration from. Check your top two cards of the deck and put all spells into the soul. So yeah, um, there's a chance where you don't actually put spells, but do not worry because uh, more than sixty percent of the deck or seventy percent of the deck is spells. So most of the time you always get the free soul charge. So it's a very very powerful card, and it's a must play. Uh, definitely is a must play of in four. So next up is 4 copies of uh, Godspeed Learning. Godspeed Learning is basically your plus engine of deck. You may only cast a card with a plague and basically charge and draw. And if you have 2 or more plague spells in your soul, you can gain 2 life. A uh, really, really powerful card because you basically get a plus, total of almost plus 2 because of a simple spell card. Uh, if you guys want to play, you guys could actually play nice one in the deck as well. Uh, but I did not because um, I'm basing this deck off the anime list I found online, the magazine scan showing Green Moss deck. So four copies of Diagnosis. Diagnosis, Diagnosis is a very important card as well. Pay one gauge and search for either one plague mo item or monster. Um, you could, if you don't have a book, please search a book first, then go for uh, monsters because the book is really, really important and it's the win condition. And if without the book, you can't do stuff at all. So yeah. Uh, 4 copies of Outbreak, Epidemic Outbreak. So put up to 1 Plague Monster or item from the drop zone into your hand. Then if an item with Plague spell in the soul, charge 1 gauge and gain 1 life. So um, pretty good card because you first off you get to salvage 1 card from the drop zone. Then you can charge 1 gauge and gain 1 life. So yeah, um, most of the time I always use this to salvage my buddy because I'll use him. If he dies, I just get it back again. Get more free spells, cast them off, then let it die again and so on. So really good because... The body is just too damn good in black, and I definitely play for. And of course, um, if you have do not have any items, you can also use these salvage items, which is pretty good. A trick of this of great spell circle reservoir. Reservoir is a very good card that allows you to gain an extra gauge every single turn when you cast a spell. Uh, when you cast a spell, put the top card of deck in your gauge, and for this turn, a uh, card on your opponent's field gets minus two k attack, two k defense, and minus one crit. So basically, it's kind of like a gamma for every turn, so it's really good. Not only you get free gauge, you can also uh, soften the attacks. Three copies of Mytox Mycotoxin. Mycotoxin, um, pretty much I use it for a second ability, which is to uh, prevent your spell from getting nullified. Some decks actually do play effect negates, and it might make your spell book useless and easily destroyable. So if this card is in the uh, so a play, card's gonna be nullified. And uh, also, you can also put it inside your uh, Ebola. So they won't die or your buddy monster so they won't die 
because if your so much so guard gets removed, you're kind of vulnerable. You can also charge two gauge and gain two life, which is great. Uh, three copies of great spell, latent infection. It's really good because each player gains five life, which doesn't matter if your opponent gets too much life because as long as you you survive and you get you pull off your impediment. Um, combo, you basically win the game, so it doesn't matter. It's counter ability also, it's two abilities. For this turn, also cards on the field cannot be sent to drop zone. Um, sometimes opponent does play um, the Loki from Legend World, so you better have one of these to prepare against it. So if the cards Loki, you can just use it, um, your soul can be removed. Three copies of Contagion Gel. You may only cast this card during your opponent's turn attack. Pay one gauge, nullify the attack, then if you have a plague on the field, one card of opponent's field gets minus one crit. So softening blows and nullifying the attack is great. Three copies of the heart zone. So cast cost pay one gauge and it's free if you have your book with three souls. For instance, all monsters of item on your opponent's field get minus three key attack tricky defense. So with Ebola on the field, basically all stuff is definitely not gonna hit because their attack power is so low. And if you combo it with the Ebola, which minus another 3k and a set spell, basically your opponent just passed turn. Really powerful. Necrolepsy. Necrolepsy is very, very powerful if you have six or more souls. Um the turn on average it takes me around two to three turns to get six souls into my book. So if you have six or more souls in a book, this is cast for cast cost free. Cast cost is usually discard a card on my hand and pay three gauge. It's not so expensive because gauge acceleration in this deck is so easy. Counter rest all monsters and items on your opponent's field. Basically rest everything they control. So using this card, one copy of it usually and it causes your opponent to end their turn immediately. So it's so damn good. Alright, and finally the last thing of our deck is the the item spell, which is the winning image of the deck. Alright, so Equip cost is 1 life. Activate, choose a plague spell in drop zone and you may rest this card. If you do, put a chosen card in this card soul and gain 1 life. At the beginning of your turn, if you have 3 or more souls, you can draw a card. So, usually on by turn 2, you can draw an extra card every single turn. So that's really good because you get extra plus whenever your turn comes. And of course, most importantly, it has a soul guard so that your opponent won't be able to destroy it easily unless they nullify the effect of it. That's why we have cards that prevents nullification. So yeah, that's pretty much the deck profile on my Magic World Plague deck. I hope this video helped you guys understand better the Plague deck. And I really appreciate if you guys leave a like on this video and subscribe if you want more body fight deck profiles. And also, if you guys are looking for body fight singles and decks, be sure to check out www.buddy-mart.com and support me. So thank you guys for watching, peace out and love you guys. Rawr.